Yeah, welcome to Hypey Apps. My name is Johann Gauss. I'm a physicist from Berlin. And this video is about the player I've written. This player has a digital room correction. So, to give an overview, one can imagine some chord which is played in that way. So accentuated, then it's recorded and played in a room with a loudspeaker. And obviously some things are lost. It's just the speaker needs a moment to swing up and in the room there's a sort of reverberation. So what you get is something which is similar but it might have lost this accentuation and the staccato and it might be sort of a preggio. Different notes come to a diff different time and the volume of the notes might be different too. Maybe you can correct the volume with an equalizer. If you have very narrow bands and say this one uh, is louder than the others, you could be lucky uh, to get it on your equalizer and silence it in some way. But digital room correction has much more possibilities. On one hand you have this equalizer function, but you have ten thousands of bands, not five or ten as in usual equalizers, which are set automatically. And you can also correct this time behavior. So how is it done? Um, to get a first impression you can imagine a speaker and the speaker plays a single wave. The simplest way in here is someone who listens. So you have this wave, it's played by the speaker and propagates in that direction. Uh, that is, sooner or later it will arrive the listener and the listener will hear something like this. But the room has a wall at least one, and the speaker radiates in that direction too. That is, oops, the wave will be reflected and arrive here as well. And you hear some sort of reverberation. Um, so if you play a short signal, a shoot, something like peng, uh, you will get here something like padeng. What can be done? Well, you can record this and let your digital room correction calculate a sort of correction file. In fact, what it does, what this file does, is add to this signal something like that. And now, if you play this, you will get at the listening place your old signal plus this a bit later, plus the reflected, but this is so weak that we can neglect it for now. It can be corrected as well and so on. Uh, but the main thing is that in this case uh, you will get the pure signal without your reflection. That is will have a better listening event. Okay, now we are in the welcome screen of the app and in the first step you have to connect the app to your speakers as if you are listening to music. Then you get this short dialogue about some prerequisites or uh, conditions. So a digital room correction can't work if the speakers are placed completely wrong or something like that. And in the next step you can start your measurement. The measurement needs a name and here you can test if your microphone is connected in the right way, if you have the right speakers and all that. I've done this before so I can skip it and start the measurement in this dialog. Good, this runs in an emulator on a PC, so you get some funny echoes and all that. But anyway, 
you get some kind of result. From here, I would recommend in practice to start a second measurement to cancel out errors and all that. But now I start the player directly and what I can do is just now take a song and convolve it and append it to Q. What this app does is called offline convolution. So before it's playing, all those mathematical operations are done, which have has some advantages. You get less probability of distortion. And now you can play your convolved song with an improved quality. Well, that's not all. What you can do is go here in this menu. And if you like to, and if you're interested, edit those filters, so fine tune some parameters. I've decided to offer two copies at the beginning so that you can compare two versions and see what your editings, see the effect of your editings. You can switch between those two versions and listen to a song. You have to select one at the first time or you can take a test signal if you are experienced with test signals used for listening test. Now we have the song can listen to it in version 1 or listen to it in version 2 and after that edit the versions. Or what you can do is uh, look at the frequency response or impulse response or some bursts after this convolutions. Uh, if you edit uh, the digital room correction, you can do it in this dialog and say look at a frequency dependent windowing stuff, uh, look uh, at how access path is handled, edit the target curve, which I explain in the web page in detail. So for now, I wanted just to give a short overview about the abilities, what's possible. So at last, I hope the player will be used and bring a real improvement in listening experience. Okay, thanks.